As a content creator who types every single subtitle manually in my videos, I get tired of editing for long periods of time. Only if there was a faster way to edit, maybe I should hire someone or let AI do it. After thinking about it for some time, I realized I could be saving up a bunch of time if I sped up my writing speed. Not only when I edit, but any everyday task such as texting my friends or trash talking in a game. And so I went on a journey. The site I was going to be using was monkey type. My reference attempt was surprisingly not bad. My average would usually range between 70 and 100 words per minute, only reaching 100 on a really good day. Obviously, I think a lot of people would be fine with this because it is above average, but I thought I could push myself to go faster without trying as hard. I noticed that I mainly used my middle finger on my right hand while I type, which was definitely slowing me down. Because while I type, my faster hand is idle. So now I started to do something that I was not going to like for the next seven days changing where I place my fingers. I found this picture online which shows where the fingers should be placed and what key it should be clicking, and I was going to heavily use this on my right hand. My first attempt surprised me because I was expecting to get around 5 to 20 words per minute max. And even though it was still kind of bad, I'm still proud of it. Then the rest of the attempts I started to fumble a lot. <laughs> you Jake. M I K A O L P. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so I decided to slow down and get used to the keys. And after 25 minutes, I was able to pump out 60 words per minute, probably out of pure luck. At one point, I searched how I could increase my writing speed, where then I found this video. Let me give you the simple example mountain number example. While I'm typing mountain, my eyes are already looking at number and processing. Ah, the next word's number. And while I'm typing number, my eyes are looking and processing which next word I need to type, which is example. I attempted this method and was able to get 70 words per minute. 70? That's huge. So then I got curious and tried it my regular way. Not gonna lie, looking at it now, if I didn't miss that amount of times, I probably easily could have gotten like 120 words per minute. After a bit more practice, I thought that was enough for today because I didn't want to fry out my brain at 5am right after I woke up. For day 2 and 3, I kept it simple and didn't learn anything, but was just trying to get used to the finger placement. I was slower than yesterday's 70 words per minute, but to put into perspective, on my first day, I got 40 words per minute, day 2 was 55, and day 3 was 66. So that was definitely a big improvement in such a short time that we won't be seeing anymore after this. Now here's the attempt where I tried the method from Mr. Chops' video. On day four, I didn't have time to practice because I had to edit this video, but that actually resulted in me kind of practicing for around two hours without seeing any sort of stats since I wasn't on the monkey type website. Missing out on a day, I expected to have a worse outcome once I came back to monkey type and surprise, surprise. It was much more comfortable, but I noticed I'm using the ring finger instead of my pinky when I click P, meaning I click L, O, and now P with one finger. To change that, I realized I would be facing my biggest fear, the words with the letter P in them. So I got to practicing and no joke, when I finished, I literally put my hand up to my mouth. The way my jaw dropped seeing 19 words per minute. I can't. I can't look at it. Anyways, for some reason, once I started to click P with my pinky finger, my muscle memory crashed and burned down like the towers as I kept mixing up I and O for some reason. I knew I wasn't going to make it to 100 words per minute by the end of the week, so I just kept practicing until day six, the day before the final day. I feel like I said the word day too many times. 
anyways, on my first try of the day, I ended up getting a pretty decent score. While I'm typing here, I'd like to say that these first attempts that I do every single day should not be this good. I'd understand if I got these scores after warming up a little bit, but I don't. I wake up, spring out of bed, five minutes to launch my PC, get on the site, start recording, and just, just do it. There probably wasn't going to be any more good tips on how to increase typing speed, so I just ended up practicing again. Little did I know it was going to go downhill from there. Obviously, the scores weren't all that bad, but clearly something was getting to me that day, and not in a good way. Dude. <sighs> like 130, 140 raw. 112 and I drop down on some stupid fucking word. Fucking hate that word. I'm skipping it. 107? No fucking shot. Raw 144? Holy shit. So. I somehow reached 100 plus words per minute before day 7. Now I'll make the new target 110 to 120 words per minute for the next day. The final day. A bunch of pressure built up for this moment because now I'd have to try my hardest to type really fast without mistyping so I don't slow down. Again, for a first try getting the score was not bad at all. What I realized though is that I go at a decent pace until I end up missing and then my words per minute goes crashing down. Meaning if I wanted to reach at least a hundred, I would have to not miss a single letter. I kept practicing for a whole hour and it was torture. Because every single time I tried to start a new test, I kept messing up again. Again and again without even getting to the second line. Yes! Finally! For the people trying to learn things, I say take it slow in the beginning to get the muscle memory down and then gradually speed up because you won't learn something overnight. My tip for you is to put at least 20 minutes of work every single day and eventually you'll see results. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a nice rest of your day, night, or evening. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.